Hello! Okay, so first of all I want to say thank you for those who have been watching my videos and hopefully I will have some more up soon um, after this one obviously. Um, and secondly, I am not obsessed with school and studying and stuff. I'm just doing, I like, my channel is educational so that's why my, most of my videos are educational. Um, it doesn't really f reflect me fully as a person because um, I am more rounded than just education. Just for those who are wondering. Okay, so this is how to pass, how I pass GCSE languages. So first thing is make sure you're motivated for the subject. Even if you hate it and you've been forced to be there, just like it and get over it and try and enjoy yourself. Secondly, take part in class. Do the work, do your homework. Um, put your hand up and answer questions. Don't be afraid to get it wrong. And yeah, just try and make sure you're listening to your teacher and doing what your teacher asks. Number three is vocabulary. Find a list of vocabulary from your teacher or from the specification from the website and learn it. I know that's really hard for me to say. It's hard to think of learning a whole booklet full of vocabulary, but if you start early on, then it shouldn't pile up. And before you know it, you should know most of the words, if not all. I know AQA, which is the example that I use when I did my GCSEs, has one. I'm not sure about others. If your example does not ask your teacher to compile a list of words for you um, so you can learn and be prepared for the exam. Uh, number four, watch films in the language with subtitles. Gets you more, it gets you used to hearing the language and correlating between the two languages. And let's face it, it's a fun way of learning languages. Like, I wish I, I, wish I could just watch music all day. Number five, listen to music in the language and um, do try and do research and find what you actually like. Don't just listen to random music that you don't like that you'll be bored by, but actual things that you will like. And I recommend finding out what the lyrics mean in English um, so you, you're not just singing random words because that won't really help you either. Um, Number six, read books and articles. And I'm not talking about reading like Harry Potter or Twilight in the language. I mean things like children's books. So if you've ever heard of like the dinosaurs packed lunch or the very hungry caterpillar, that kind of book, but in the language. Um, for those doing French, I know Le Petit Prince, that's a series, I think it's a children's book series that you can use. Other languages will obviously vary. <laughs> and yeah, you'll have to find what's good for you and what you like. Um, um, number seven, visit the country if you can. So foreign exchanges, work experience programs, um, things like that. Visit family holidays. Just try and spend as much time as you can speaking the language. And if you can't visit, don't panic. Just find somebody who does speak the language or just speak it randomly. Even if your parents or siblings don't speak the language, just practice speaking the language. It will be awkward and hard at first, but the more you do it, the more used to it you'll get and the easier it will get. And finally, practice papers are key. Make sure you're practicing the papers that your exam board has set, so like past papers and things like that, uh, or specimen papers. Just make sure you're practicing and you know what the format of the exams will be like. It's no good practicing. Um, the language, if you don't know what the exam is going to be like, because sometimes that can throw you off if you see something that you've never seen before. And I'm sure your teacher will give you practice papers anyway, but just in case they don't, make sure it is your own education and make sure you're um, practicing that. And one last tip for controlled assessments, if you have them still, I'm not sure with the GCSE reforms they might have been got rid of, but um, making your paragraphs that you have to learn into songs helps like for me anyway so if you think about the amount of lyrics that you can remember from like songs that are really really old if you do that early on not like at the last minute but early on and you drill, drill it into yourself drill it into your head you will remember those paragraphs that's if you're having trouble remembering and by remembering those paragraphs for those of you who don't know what I mean for the, re for the speaking and the writing we basically found out the words um, the questions beforehand came up with their answers and just had to memorize them basically and if you don't, if you can't memorise them, just make it up on the spot. Like, some people do that and yeah, good luck to you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share, like and comment any requests that you might have. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope this wasn't too long. Bye!